The Hating Education Department says measures are being put in place to deal with security and safety in and around schools in the province. MEC Matome Chilwane visited the Dino Kaneng Secondary School in Sebuk King this after the murder of a grade 10 pupil. Now it's understood that the pupil was stabbed by a fellow learner outside the school grounds on Wednesday last week. NCS Pulele Chwiti Jones was at the school. He joins me now in studio. So this is one of two incidents that have happened with children at this very same school. Um, very worrying indeed. Both incidents involving school kids. Yeah. They weren't murdered on school grounds, but yeah. clearly a massive, massive problem at this school in particular. But let's face it, this is not just a Gauteng issue. This is a national issue. We've yeah. heard similar incidents from uh, KwaZulu-Natal as well. So um, what specifically is the Gauteng MEC for Education saying about safety in schools in this province? Well, firstly, Sally, on a broader perspective, just um, last week we had um, three incidences of stabbing that took place at different um, various schools in Gauteng. But when you zoom in into Dinokaneng Din School, this is an incident that firstly took place on Wednesday, like you understood. And then lastly, on Friday, where this learner was fatally stabbed. So that's the second incident. That's the second incident. And this is also gang-related as well. It seems as though some of these gang activities are now pouring into these schools. Um, I mean, when you go into that community, you get the sense that, you know, there's, uh, there's still a lot of unemployed young people who are just, you know, in the street corners smoking and gathering, playing loud music. And you, you ask yourself, is there no any other activity they can be up to? But that's just tragic. Um, and the family is still reeling from this tragic incident. But the um, Houghton Department of Education says they are aware about what's happening. And the question is, you, you know, this, this is happening almost every week, but how are you implementing this at, at, a, at an urgent process or, or speed up process? And they're saying that um, they will be now tag teaming or beefing up uh, their security, working hand in hand with private security as well. Um, they also will be working with, um, you know, the community police forums and of course the members of the SAPS. Um, but you get a sense that they need more boots on the ground, more manpower. They're relying on the plans that are made by the Premier during his State of the Province address to say just about 6,000 people Peace and security workers will be deployed in various wards in Gauteng. So that could come in as a very good contribution in terms of ensuring that there's safety. But they're also saying that um, they're quite worried because some of these, you know, incidences that are taking place are happening outside the school, like you rightfully said, which is also now um, going, contributing as to it's pouring into these schools as well. So you find that there might be a gang incident that just took place outside the school, but then one perpetrator will then go later into that school and stab that learner mm, as well, mm. causing terror to that school so it's quite a huge concern and they're really saying that they're doing all they can to fight um, this gang violence that's taking place in various communities but let's just take a listen to what the MEC had to say we know we know where we have our problems so we will be uh, beefing up security in those schools definitely first thing uh, we're going to increase the number of patrollers in those schools uh, we're looking to also get private security to come also to assist uh, to, assist, to assist, obviously. Then uh, the SAPS has also committed itself to increasing uh, uh, awareness and, uh, and visibility and also, you know, to come into the school to assist from time to time weekly. So there's a lot of work that we're doing to ensure that those schools in those areas are really, really safe. Yeah, and it's such a difficult one because one's immediate reaction is to go, well, let's put in uh, security as you enter the school gates. Let's put in metal detectors, etc., etc. Uh, the reality is if the community surrounding that school is violent and unstable, mm -hmm. inevitably that violence and instability will pull the children into, yeah. into that whirlpool. Um, so there was the incident on Wednesday last week, grade 10 pupil murdered, and then the killing of 17-year-old Tumelo Dwili, also a grade 10 pupil, also outside the school, not linked in terms of, or, or was it linked? I mean, also gang mm -hmm. violence. Mm -hmm. What is the community telling you? So, so when we spoke to the, the brother of um, Dumelo Chwili, he says that the incident was linked, but the Gauteng department says the incidences were not linked. So there's still mm -hmm. that a bit of a concern of information because we tried to verify again with the MEC and they said, no, 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 they're not linked. Um, but the community members are saying we're doing all we can to find this to fight this gangsterism in these communities um, and they've also now established a community group through using social media through using whatsapp um, chat um, services as well to try and alert each other when mm. there's any suspicions suspicious movements that are happening around the school as well because they're saying they're quite fed up with the kind of 
violence that's pouring and manifesting to these schools because it's, it's disrupting lessons. And last week, there was protests that took place around um, the school just to raise awareness in terms of the kind of, you know, dangers that gangsterism brings into schools and classes were suspended. Mm. Um, and this is the kind of disruption that it's bringing to some of these schools. But they're saying that they'll be working hand in hand with the, the police community forums as well to ensure that they can fight this gangsterism. Well, regarding these two, these two children that were killed, um, are, they, are there suspicions that these were kids who were being drawn into the gangs? Yeah. Or is it a situation of just being in the wrong place at the wrong time? Yeah, well, there's, there's suspicions that they were drawn into the gangs, okay. suspicions that this could so have been a as a result of retaliation as well, okay. trying to control, you know, turf and the areas and, and territory within that community as well. But the sad thing is that it's pouring into schools and innocent, um, you know, pupils having to witness this is actually yeah. quite traumatizing are, as well. These yeah. children are being yeah, exposed. Yeah, it's really bad, yeah. But let's just take a listen to what the community member had to say. Man, as the community, we are very concerned about the, uh, this barbaric and... Uh, the crime that is happening in our school premises. So, but at least as as community, we have tried uh, earlier in the opening of the school to search all the schools. But you know, the children will be the children. So, but is the concern? We find so many things that is devastating the community: drugs, heroin, weapons. Even though we have find them, but they they put them outside the school, and these events. They try to fight outside the school, and they, which is concern to our community. But I think we need to stand up to make sure that we protect our children during the learning process. Yeah, I mean, it's so incredibly it tragic. Is really two, sad. two pupils in one week from the same school. I mean, you remember just last year we, we covered a story in Kalabosh as one flag Flakfontein, similar issue again, gang related, students stabbed. Um, it just recently in Brakban as well. Mm. There was that incident that took place, and now we're here again this week. It's really getting out of hand. Well, the, let's hope the Premier's anti-crime plans come to fruition and Definitely. come to fruition quickly. Definitely. Thank you very much for that update. NCA's Pule Lechwiti.